Well, good morning from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Look who's back. The old guy. The old guy's back. How does it feel to be back in Canada it's after good. In four months in Southeast Asia? It feels good as long as it's summertime. Yeah. The winters here are pretty harsh, but if you do come to Saskatchewan in the summer, it is lovely. Look at this beautiful view behind me. This is actually one of our favorite places in Saskatoon, right, Dad? Right. The railway bridge here, you got the Saskatchewan River. Pelican Island. <laughs> There's Pelican Island right there. <laughs> and overall, this is just a really great place to go for a walk or go for a jog. So I'm going to be here in Saskatchewan for about a week, but just a few days here in Saskatoon. And I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what the perfect 24 hours in Saskatoon would look like for me. Obviously it is relative, you know, depending on your likes, but if you like some of the same places that I do, this is how I would spend 24 hours in Saskatoon. Welcome to Saskatoon Friends, or as I and many others like to call it, Toontown. <laughs> this is the largest city in Saskatchewan with a population of around 300,000 people and was my home for a good three to four years, uh, about a decade ago. Overall, I would say Saskatoon is one of the nicer cities in the prairies. It does have a lot to offer. And considering real estate being extremely high in the more populous provinces in Canada, I see Saskatoon getting a very big boost in population in the next coming years. Overall, I would say that Saskatoon is a slower paced, family friendly sort of city. They do say that the median age right now is about 35. And while the job opportunities in Saskatchewan might not be as diverse as other provinces, it does have key economic sectors in agriculture, forestry development, and also mining. If you're coming to Saskatoon as a tourist and let's say you don't have a car, I would say that the areas that are going to be easiest for you to visit are the areas that I'm going to show in this video, which is the downtown core, Broadway, and Riversdale. Saskatoon, as with most cities in Canada, is very car-centric and doesn't have a very developed public transport system, so ideally if you're able to rent a car that would help you get around much easier. So friends, we are in my favorite brunch spot in all of Saskatoon that has been here for quite a while now. It is called Poached. Of course, what they are most well known for is their poached dishes, which is like their eggs benny, um, over crab cakes, super, super good. Dad, I can't remember if I've ever brought you here before. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you've been here before, but I think you'll like it. But I'm old, I probably can't remember. Probably is that as well. So here we are. I decided to get the half Benny with the hash brown sort of croquet. I think that's what it is. I've never tried this before. It's got like bacon sprinkles on top with cheese. And then dad, you ended up getting the asparagus omelet, right? Yeah. Yeah. That oh, so nice. Looks very good. walking downtown and we heard a bunch of music and realized there's some kind of <laughs> my dad <laughs> my dad doesn't like the music no it's not music like somebody banging on some tin cats well everybody's got their yeah, own opinion right <laughs> And of course, sa lahat ng tao na nandito ngayon. Uh, well, that was really cool. No. Yeah. Well, even though cool. you're not a fan of the music, it's but too loud. too loud for you. But just the fact that there is so many different 
cultural events that do happen in Saskatoon. It's great that we were able to catch one. For those of you who don't know, uh, Saskatoon actually has a Ukrainian festival every year. I think it's in August sometime because there is a very large diaspora um, of Ukrainians that are in the prairie provinces in general. But there's also a lot of other great festivals that happen downtown, uh, like the Jazz Festival every year, uh, Taste of Saskatchewan. So as I said before, summer is definitely the best time to be visiting Saskatoon. We just arrived to River Landing area, which I would say is one of the nicest, newer parts of the city. They've actually done a really good job at kind of renovating the uh, river boardwalk area. The reason we are down here is because I want to go to the Remier Art Center, which I think opened seven to 10 years ago. And strangely, I have not gone yet. Obviously you'd find it more interesting if you're into art, but the building itself is supposed to actually be quite impressive. So I thought it would be a fun thing for me and my dad to check out. We are officially in my favorite part of the city, guys. We are here on Broadway. This is a pretty long street that will lead you to Broadway Bridge and then take you downtown. But this area of Saskatoon really stands out because the heart of it is all about local business. So guys, this is a Broadway staple that has been around since I was a kid, I think. Uh, this is Las Palapas, which is a great Mexican restaurant, and I probably haven't been here in like 10 years, so I am super excited. Look how good this looks, guys. Me and my dad actually ended up getting kind of the same thing. We got the Mexi bowl, but you got which kind? The jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit is always really good. He got it with soft tortillas. Looks like some broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. And then I got mine with chips. You get guacamole, little side salad. This looks amazing. Now to end off our night, me and my dad ended up going through Riversdale, which is actually one of the oldest neighborhoods in Saskatoon. And to be honest, when I was younger, this was actually not the best area to go walking around in. It was actually kind of sort of dangerous. You still have to be a little bit careful in certain streets, but overall Riversdale has definitely gotten a facelift, so to say, and a lot of really cool businesses have moved in. It's a lot more colorful and a lot more people hang out there. So they were having a fun neighborhood street festival. We thought we would stop in, looked really lively and was a great way to end off our night. And we're back where we technically started guys that is 24 hours in toontown did you have a fun time dad yes i did <laughs> what did you like the most everything everything but what's interesting guys is we actually walked 
basically everywhere we went today. A lot of Saskatoon you can only see if you have a car, so we actually stuck to the more pedestrian friendly areas. So if you're okay with walking like 20,000 steps like we did today, then you can see all the neighborhoods I featured in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have been to Saskatoon, let me know what were some of your favorite places. Dad, thanks so much for being my co-pilot. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you guys will see him in future videos. And as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys. Yeah, bye guys.